All right, we're here with my good friend David Reen, co-founder of Stream Companies, Full Throttle. Any more I should add to the list? No, that's it, man. For now? For now. For now. Um, David, obviously, um, you have a long-standing history. You manage quite a bit uh, for dealers, OEMs. You do work from tier one to tier three. So I think your perspective is really unique on the needs of the dealers and the needs of the OEMs and how they come together. Um, so I'd like to talk about that a little bit, but first, we're here day one. Uh, the stream booth is hopping. Uh, what's your perspective of day one? You've been to a couple NADAs. No, uh, day one's awesome. Uh, seems like it's the busiest show um, since COVID. So we're really happy to see all the, all the traffic. You know, current clients, clients looking for new solutions. So the team is super excited and uh, we're ready to talk to dealers. Does it seem like people are showing up quasi like already informed and they, they know what they want to talk about or are they asking you what's new? I think that we got some, I mean, there's, there's you know, CDPs, uh, identity resolution, there's a lot of buzzwords, you know, sure. going on in the industry. So I think they're looking to learn and understand, uh, you know, how that could help their, their dealership and what it means. And um, I know we're doing a lot of demos just trying to educate mm -hmm. um, the industry around truly what what is possible with, with data, first party data, uh, the cookie-less future. So, you know, we're really excited and pumped to be uh, spreading the word. That's very good. Okay, so back to the very first premise. Um, you have a lot of exposure to OEMs and their thinking and their strategies. You have a lot of exposure to dealers and their thinking and their strategies. If you could wave a magic wand and get dealers to understand something about what the OEMs are trying to do that they might be missing right now, what would you think that is? Yeah, I think the, you know, Ultimately, the OEMs are, are, you know, trying to work with their dealers to, to sell more more cars, yeah. and that's what our dealers are focused on. So I think it's just really about having that, you know, the shared goals, um, but then communicating how they can work together versus you know working against one another. So I think that you know it all comes down to education, you know, how to both educate the OEM to you know what the dealer's pain points are and what it's like to be in a dealership. And then vice versa, being able to educate the dealer, you know, what problems the OEM's looking to solve and collectively, you know, the goal of selling cars. Absolutely. So um, we're moving into this era. You've been working on this for a long time. Like we're talking about this cookie list future, right? And it seems like it's right there now, but you've been thinking about and building solutions and working on this for a number of years. When did you start actually leaning in on this idea of like, there's going to be a time where we don't have this crutch to sit on, where we can cookies and all this stuff. Um, when did you start thinking about that and kind of how has that progressed to where we are now? Yeah, no, great, great question. I think, well, initially when we launched the, the idea of Full Throttle before Full Throttle even existed, was to help our dealers convert more of their website mm -hmm. traffic into, into customers and taking the unknown, right? We drive all this demand, create all this traffic, but only two to 5% of customers submit a lead on a dealership's website. So how do we identify those audiences and understand how they shop for a car, what they're looking at, um, and by building up that you know simple concept of identifying that website traffic led to you know building out full throttle, spinning it off so it's an independent company from Stream. And at that time, we weren't even thinking about cookie lists. Yeah. We got lucky. Uh, I mean, we built a technology platform that didn't rely on cookies. Um, so, you know, the timing was was awesome. Um, and I th feel like, you know, we're, we've been at this, like, again, since 2018 on the full throttle side. So I think we're light years ahead mm -hmm. of where, you know, the, the industry um, w is even catching up with. Yeah. Um, so we feel like it's, you know, a great time um, to be in the space that we're in and really look to build solutions um, around audiences versus traffic uh, and help our clients know more about their customer and shopper journey. How do we activate that data, help them be more targeted with the right audiences and not spray and pray. So we're really excited about it. Okay, so you, another thing, you do a lot of work in other industries, especially with full throttle. What would you say the percentage of automotive versus other industries? Uh, on the full throttle side, it's about 50-50. Okay, so what other industries might automotive be looking to that are a little bit ahead in deploying this type of uh, this type of technology successfully? Yeah, I mean, we have, you know, some, you know, national retailers, I mean, you know, whether- And automotive is retail, yeah, by the way. it is. I mean, so, you know, those experiences where they have a higher, you know, price tag, furniture, 
home services, flooring, windows, all those industries where we're able to help them better understand their shoppers and convert them into, into, into buyers. So that's you know what we're really passionate about. It's interesting you bring up furniture because when Circuit City, before they became CarMax, they had a task force that looked at two industries and they said, we need to find an industry where um, financing our product, insuring our product um, are where the, yeah. the real revenue comes from, they came up with the automotive and furniture. So it's interesting, there are a lot of similarities between furniture and auto. There are, I mean, any of those high ticket jewelry, you know, all those, you know, where it's not uh, it's not Amazon, right? You're not going on there buying a, a, a bottle of aspirin. Right, right? yeah. Right. So it's, it's higher consideration, better understanding the shopper journey yeah. and how to deploy marketing dollars in a more effective way. All right, let's forget 2024. We're at the end of 2025 now. What are we talking about? Uh, I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue to really talk about how this what we call tierless. You know, for, how do we make it better for the customer, right? In terms of their shopping journey um, and create less less friction. Uh, again, that's one of the things that we're trying to help do with full solve on the full throttle side is really help pull people through through the the, the buying funnel mm -hmm. um, and getting the right message to them at the at the right time. Well, David, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Thanks for serving the industry in the way that you do. And uh, looking forward to see what the technology does uh, and, and have a great rest awesome. of your show. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it.